What is going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans, everywhere? How you doing? It's the Big Troll Network. I'm its host and creator, Tyzilla83. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the content. You guys, at the end of the video, if you would be so kind, need you to like the video, comment down below. The comments have been wonderful lately. I, I really do appreciate that. And, of course, share the content, copy and paste the URL, sp spread the word somewhere, let people know where you found the video. And, uh, of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button down below. I had I had some people hit me up and ask me about, you know, the, the – I don't know if they watched the whole live video or not that I put up Saturday or, or if they were there during the live stream after the scrimmage on Saturday. But they asked me why I haven't talked more about Dalton Hyatt and how, you know, people are telling me, oh, he looked better. Let me just say this. Let me just clarify this about Dalton Hyatt. It could be a great quarterback. I don't know. He, he could. He might have a higher ceiling than anybody. You know, he could be the next Tyler Wilson, Ryan Mallett, only he's got feet. I don't know. I think that's unlikely, but you never know, right? You just don't know. And plus, we don't know how Chad Morris thinks. We don't know really what he's looking for to run this offense. My guess is he just wants someone who can, who can open up the playbook and understand, you know, the majority of it. Who understands, you know, the most of this offense. I think if Dalton Hyatt was, was a serious candidate for the starting job, I think he would have played in the first half more. I think he would have gotten more reps with the, with the ones. I think he would have had, you know, he wouldn't have worked with the threes and the walk-ons. And that's what he played with. He did look good, but I'm going to argue that the quality of talent, the the depth, is going to lean to the offense. Defense, I'll just say this. I don't think we had Paul Rhodes on campus long enough to build a, a solid foundation on defense. That's why they brought in who they brought in in, in Chavis. You know, he's going to help build and lay that foundation. We've talked about that a lot here. But the I would say if you wanted to if you had a scale and you're trying to weigh where the best and the most talent was, it's going to be on the offensive side of the ball for sure. The talent, the, the skill positions, I think are are again compared to the second and third team defense are better, and that's what he had to work with. He had better talent around him. Speaking of Chavis and, and Paul Rhodes, something else I kind of took away from the scrimmage. Again, grain of salt. Take everything with a grain of salt because we don't know we don't know what this team is until you get into conference play, until you until their backs are against the wall. But I, I feel like you could tell Arkansas benefited from Paul Rhodes' presence on defense because the secondary they just look solid. They look good. Whether it was whether it was uh, Ryan Pooley, Curl, Callaway, or or I'm trying to think of all the names of everyone that played. Everybody who was out on that field, whether they were ones or twos, obviously the threes got a lot of work to do, and some of the other the younger guys who haven't had a chance to get a whole lot of reps. I think overall the secondary is in pretty good shape. Now that doesn't mean next year they're gonna they're gonna be one of the top three, top five rated secondaries. No, you know they're gonna have Ryan Pulley back. They move Curl. You're gonna get Santos Ramirez back. You've got Chevin Callaway, who is a I think he's probably one of the highest rated players on this team when you talk about star power. Uh, we we saw glimpses of that Saturday. Um, you know, when you talk about the quality of depth at the secondary position, that is a spot where they are strong. Again, that's that's Arkansas benefiting from the short time they had a quality coach in Paul Rhodes. You say what you want about him. Yeah, last year they were horrific on defense. A lot of that's because they don't have pass rushers. You don't have guys that can that can that can rush the passer. If you don't guys, if you don't have guys that can that can put the quarterback or take him out of his comfort zone. Your secondary is going to get ripped to shreds eventually, and, and obviously that's what's happened over the last couple of years. But that's why they brought in John Chavis. This is a guy who knows how to dial up pressure, and he'll do it from anywhere. He'll blitz safeties, linebackers, corners. It doesn't matter. He'll drop guys back in coverage that you wouldn't expect. That's what you can expect from from John Chavis. And I think because of that, maybe the secondary will see uh, you know their numbers when compared to the last couple of years. Maybe they're not giving up as many yards through the air. Maybe we're actually getting pressure on a, on a quarterback. And and the other thing I didn't talk about, and I should have, in the live video and in Monday's video, I don't think Arkansas had any major injuries in that scrimmage. I think one of the tight ends got a little dinged up. I forgot which one. But I haven't heard anything since. Again, as far as right now, they haven't disclosed or talked about any major injuries. I think we got out of the scrimmage healthy. Remember last off season, Arkansas wasn't as as fortunate. You lost Raleigh Williams and some other guys to some injuries. 
as the season progressed, as they got into the regular season. I know that's still some time away, but you lost some other players. So coming out of spring, going into summer, and then fall workouts and getting into fall camp, being as healthy as possible, being as healthy as you can, can be a huge advantage. Arkansas obviously last year got hit in the gut when Raleigh Williams went down in the offseason. So if these guys can stay healthy, it's going to give Chad Morris more to work with. So those are some things I wanted to take away and talk about a little bit. Of course, we're going to talk more Friday. We're going to have another video out. If you guys have an idea for a topic on Friday, let me know down below in the comments section. I'm curious what you guys want to hear me talk about. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to email me. Hit me up on Twitter. Or comment down below in the comment section. Say, hey, why don't you talk about this on Friday? Maybe I'll do that. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Like, comment, share the content that you just watched. Of course, tap the subscribe button if you haven't already. And and uh, till Friday, we'll see you around.